Now, if you were searching the back of your mind for that half-remembered fact this afternoon, it wouldn't have done much good switching on your computer and heading for Wikipedia. The online reference site has been taken offline today in protest at the US Congress attempt to introduce a bill aimed at stopping access to websites which carry pirated material. That bill could, it's claimed, ultimately shut down some of the world's best-known websites. Google and Facebook also protested at the plans, which President Obama says he opposes. Here's our technology correspondent, Benjamin Cohen. It's the first week of the year at London South Bank University, but the students are coming to terms of a different way of doing their research. Well, for today at least. It used to be if you wanted to find out a fact, you'd have to come to a reference library like this. Nowadays, many people go to websites like Wikipedia instead. Except today, it's actually quite busy here because Wikipedia shut its doors in protests that propose new anti-piracy laws. But students are raising their voice about the lack of Wikipedia. Everyone knows about Wikipedia. It's like the most known sort of, I don't know, referencing site. If you go somewhere, if you don't know the meaning of something, you just put it into Wikipedia. It's mm. the first Best place that people go. If you saw, Simple. Yeah, if you went to another mm. website, I think you'd sort of... I don't think I'd trust it as much. Really, it's not that big a deal for one day to go without information, which I might have to actually just work to find out today. Um, I feel that the protest is going a bit too far by taking down a whole page that the whole world relies on, seemingly. Well, it went down forever, or for a week, or for a month? It'd probably just mean that we'd have to work a little bit harder to find our information. Uh, yeah, it's different. I use Wikipedia a lot, usually, just to you know, help me out understanding certain aspects of things. But it's not just students. High-profile journalists have a Wikipedia habit, too. Wikipedia, for me, now has become sort of an extension of my brain. You can get the information so fast that you feel like you already know it. You know, we've become so reliant on it, people don't really know how to use the library anymore, and you, you don't know if the library is still going to be there. I don't have any reference books that are in date anymore. My atlas is 15 years old. It has Yugoslavia in it. This isn't just about Wikipedia. It's about the future of the internet as we know it, and whether we'll continue to have open access to the websites and online services that we use every day. No web blackout at the US Congress today whose proposed legislation could make it illegal for companies like Google to link to websites accused of breaking piracy rules. It could also threaten sites like YouTube or Facebook that allow users to upload content that may breach copyright. And those who watch pirated content could face five years in jail. No website as big as Wikipedia can control every page all the time. What we can do is change pages if we see something that's wrong. But this legislation means that any tiny slip means the whole website comes down. And that's why for one day we're showing the public what it would be like if Wikipedia disappeared. Today's protests seem to have had some effect. Two of the most senior Republican sponsors of the bill have pulled out, causing Rupert Murdoch, the most vocal supporter of the legislation, to tweet. Seems the blogosphere has succeeded in terrorising many senators and congressmen who previously committed. Politicians are all the same and declaring that piracy rules.